Good morning, PHS. Today is August 24th. I'm PTV's Megan Scott. And I'm Kiara Clements. Thanks for joining us here on this week's edition of PTV News. To kick off our show, we are going to start with today's SRT in after school meetings. Going on today in room 108, the Business Professional of American Club is meeting, and the Spanish Club is meeting right now in room 116. After school, the Robotics Club will be gathering in room 141 from 3.30 to 5.30. Reminder to the PHS staff, Superintendent Andy Hartley's listening podcast will be available in the WSOI Navy room from 3.30 to 4. And students, speech and debate Novus call-out meeting is tonight from 6.30 to 9 in the studio theater. Hey students, are you willing to save a life and bring some good karma, karma your way? Well, you're in luck if so. PHS will be hosting a blood drive on Wednesday, August 30th in the multi-purpose room during school hours. If you are at least 16 years old and you are in good health, please see Mrs. Cryer in room 204 for your permission slip so you can donate. The Plymouth Community School Corporation is still selling engraved bricks that are placed at the front entrance of the rock pile. By purchasing an individualized brick, your commemorative message will welcome close to a thousand fans that enter the rock pile every Friday night and beyond. You can order your brick by visiting the corporation's website. The Wild Rose Moon Production House is a nonprofit organization here in Plymouth is looking for student volunteers. Positions include ticket takers, auditorium managers, green room attendants, refreshment table attendants, as well as technical volunteers such as students to keep up their Facebook page, students to edit videos for their YouTube channel, and autistic poster designers. If you have skills in any of these areas, please contact Wild Rose Moon Production at wildrosemoon at gmail.com. The American Legion's high school oratical contest is before us. If you've never heard of it, we'll fill you in. The contest involves participants making up a speech about the U.S. Constitution and you must focus on some phase of the Constitution for 8 to 10 minutes. Local American Legion organizers tell PTV News that most of the students who participate attend Laporte High School, but they would like to get students from other schools to try out. The encompassing area that makes up our local region includes the following counties, Laporte, Marshall, Elkhart, and St. Joseph. The American Legion's high school oratical district competition is in January. The winners advance to the zone contest in February. Then if they make it past that competition, winners advance to the state tourney in March. And then ultimately, winners advance in nationals in April. Deadlines for entries is December 15th. If you are interested in gaining experience in perfecting your speaking skills, Certainly go to our PTV at PHS website to find links for more information. WTC is looking for a student or two to operate the control board at their radio station located in downtown Plymouth. The AM and FM station is located at 112 West Washington Street. The person is needed during sports broadcasts such as Friday night football games, basketball and baseball, and soccer games when they are broadcasted live. Having two students that could rotate will help because students are involved in a lot of other things. This is a cash paying job. Hours will vary, but for Friday night games, the person hired will need to be at work around 545, and they would need to stay until the game is over. That could be around 930 or 10. Students with a decent speaking voice will have the possibility to do a live segment such as well. WTCA will train the students who are available to work. Interested candidates can send your resume to owner Kathy Bardoff at kathybardoff at gmail.com. Plymouth High School is once again the Blueberry Festival official parking spot. The parking cost per vehicle is $8 for a daily pass or $16 for an entire week pass, which allows motorists access to to and from the lot all four days of the festival. Included in the high school parking cost is a free tram ticket. Tram shuttle festival goers back and forth from the heart of the Blueberry Festival in the high school. Part of the parking proceeds will benefit the following Plymouth High School student programs. 
groups and clubs, speech and debate, band choir, acting stage crew, yearbook, robotics, Spanish, student publications, and AFS, formerly American Field Service Student Exchange Club. Also, Webster and Washington Discovery Academy, PTO, will be parking vehicles directly northwest from the Plymouth High School in the adjacent amphitheater lot for $7. I'm PTV's Jacob Kowatch, coming up on the second half of PTV News. Our big trivia can make you win this big old pack bag of popcorn. Looking for a tasty treat? Then come on down to the Sugar Shack. The Sugar Shack Bakery is open 8 to 6, Tuesday through Friday, and Friday to noon on Saturdays. Don't forget, every day after school from 3 to 6, we have happy hour where all of our fresh baked goodies are half price. Stop by Sugar Shack today at 401 East Jefferson in Plymouth, Indiana. Today's a big day for PHS Sports. It's time to take a look at our PTV Sports Rundown. Today at 5 p.m. girls golf and boys soccer will face the Warsaw Tigers in Warsaw. In Elkhart, the volleyball team will be facing Concord at 5.30. Also at 5.30, girls soccer will be facing the Adams Eagles in South Bend. And lastly, boys tennis will be facing St. Joe here in Plymouth at 4.45. So make sure you go out and support our players. Last Friday, here at the Rock Pile, the Plymouth Rockies started their season by hosting East Noble. It was senior night for our very own Rockies, so the bleachers were filled with a huge turnout of our student body. Our very own PTV, Josie Coons, was on the sideline capturing the game to bring you these football highlights. Plymouth Rocky, Braxton Bennett, started the game with a 26-yard rush touchdown and continued to lead in touchdowns the rest of the game. The Rockies outscored East Noble, leaving the team with a win to start their season. The final score was Plymouth 22, East Noble 18. Tomorrow is Football Friday, once again at the Rock Pile. The Rockies will face Hammond for the very first time. Since the game is home, make sure you come out at, the, at 8 p.m. in Beach or Hawaiian Wear and support our Rockies as your boys hopefully bring home another victory. And our student council members will be standing at the gateway and traveling around the bleachers collecting money for the Riley Children's Hospital at tomorrow's game. Make sure to stop by one of the members with a Riley bucket and donate for a great cause. The PHS girls volleyball team is selling walleye fish sandwiches on Saturday in the PHS parking lot by door 5 from 11 to 6. The cost of a sandwich ticket is $7, and Wayne and Judy Smith with Tom T.C. Taters will be selling, selling taters for $4. Water and desserts will also be available for purchase or donations. If you would like to purchase tickets, please contact Tony Plotho via email at tplotho at plymouth.k12.in.us, or you can see any PHS Volleyball member on the roster. Thank you for supporting the PHS Volleyball program and our students. It's now time for our Back by Popular Demand PTV Trivia Question. If you are a freshman or didn't watch the show last year, our PTV Trivia Question will win someone's SRT room a prize big enough for everyone in the whole class. But you have to make sure your teacher emails your classroom's answer to phsmarketing at plymouth.k12.in.us in order to submit your answer. So for our first question of the year, What's the ballet term for a 360 degree turn on one foot? SRT teachers, please email your answer for your class to phsmarketing at plymouth.k12.in.us. Again, our P PTV trivia question of the week is, what's the ballet term for a 360 degree turn on one foot? We will choose the winner by random selector before SRT is over today and then we will deliver your yummy prize first thing tomorrow during SRT. Good luck, everyone. For lunch today, we'll be having country fried chicken, mashed potatoes with gravy, a wonderful fruit and veggie bar, and all of this served with a dinner roll. 
I'm PTV's Kiara Clements. And I'm PTV's Megan Scott. Make sure you check out our new website at ptv.phs.weebly.com and let us know what you want to see on the show this year. See you next Thursday, everyone.